it's Bob here, and we're on our way. Yes, we Bob got my sound services. We got a little Pandora going in the background here. Amazing, huh? But these go keep us warm, just like How about that disco people? Well, it might fit in with Rio. Today's word is Rio, and it's Sunday, August the 14th, 2016. 14, 16, all these even numbers. I'm a happy man. What a deal. I have my fiance driving today. I didn't really have her driving. She said, I'm driving. I'm going to drive for a little bit, now let's you drive. She likes to drive too. We're both driving people. Go forward with purpose. On, on uh, Friday with my brother, I saw this awesome movie with Matt Damon. I won't say what it is because, you know, we don't have a sponsor here. We're just, but it was awesome. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was just so incredible. And one of the things we noticed was, was that uh, Jason Bourne always walked with purpose. He was just, look behind him and walking with purpose. He'd, he'd walk in and just walk you, with purpose. You just gave the name of the movie. Oh, I did. I guess that's our sponsor today. Yay! Millions coming to pass the Amount Devotional. No. <laughs> but the thing is this. It's the old joke. She didn't get the old joke. You know, I'm not going to mention anybody's names, but uh, Ethan. <laughs> All right. So today's word is Rio. And I picked Rio because of the fact that it's a historic time. I mean, we're transitioning to track and field now. And the swimming meets are over. And Michael Phelps again. I'm not coming back. I am not a crook. Richard Nixon reference there, you know. So, being the man of the word. So, thing is this, is that it's a very, very historic time in Rio. And I looked up a little history on Rio, and if you get the uh, written Devo, which I'm gonna be sending out here momentarily, then you're gonna see all about Rio. I, I Not all about it, I picked one of the top facts. But Rio is a historic place, and it uh, turns out, by the way, my fiance is from Central America. Central America, I kept saying South America, but Central America, so I, isn't that in the center? She's not in the left, not the right, she's right down the center, right on with God, amen. So, the marvelous city. First John 1, 7 is our scripture that I, I pointed out to her for this time. And it means that if you walk in darkness, then you're going to be in darkness. And you're going to deceive yourself. And you're going to think, well, I ain't got no sin. I'm okay. You know, I wash behind my ears. Look, see, my ears all clean. Look at, and I, got, I comb, my, comb my eyebrows and my beard's all nice. I'm a nice guy. I haven't fed the cat. <laughs> well, great. You might do all those things, but we're all sinners. Every one of us is a sinner. And Gene and I were talking a little bit earlier about how the devil likes to come in and steal, kill, and destroy. The Lord, the, the Lord. <laughs> no. Satan will come in and plant a plot in your mind and then get you thinking. Look at Eve in the garden. Did God say that you couldn't eat of any of the trees in the garden? Well, God never said that. But Satan put that in her head and she's thinking, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you, God? I can't eat no trees. I'm gonna start. Look how skinny I am. No, God never said that. But Satan put it in her head, and then she's all thinking, and then he just kind of kept weaving his little web of, of theft. So we, we don't want to deceive ourselves. No chance of that. We want to walk in the light as he is in light. And then we're going to have fellowship with one another. We talked about fellowship a couple days ago, right? And then the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We talked about this. I prayed this over my, my wife just earlier today, that the blood of Jesus would cleanse and would, would heal her fears. We all have fears. I have fears. I have a lot of fears. And you have fears too. And I got a little praise report there from Victorville. That's a good idea, Gene. So going into the carpool lane. Yes, all right. After the motorcycle guy freaks you out there. Go, motorcycle guy. All right, big old sons of soul. All right. We all have a soul. Pray for that soul. And you see, he looks like he's not in any hurry. He's just rolling along, having a good day. Got a helmet on, though. You know, years ago, we didn't have helmets in California. You just born to be wild, but now you got to have helmets. Now you're going to be gonna be living to be wild. <laughs> Not just born, but you're going to live. <laughs> a lot of people you know, got killed on motorcycles years ago. Isn't this nice? We had a motorcycle show today. Okay, so I taped an earlier version, but I, I, I was trying to show the uh, these classic cars, and I turned around, I turned off the camera, so whole other story. Here we are, so we're, we're cleansed by the blood of Jesus, cleansed by the blood of Jesus, but in order to be cleansed, you have to want to be cleansed. I mean, and this is very sad, and we are praying for these homeless folks. But you've seen the homeless guy, and he's just covered with black. I've got a little toner on my finger here. I don't like it. i got a little toner, because I was cleaning it up for my friend there in Eagle Rock yesterday. I worked about 11 o'clock. I didn't get into the Casa La Victoria until about almost 3. It's like, I worked the longest day yesterday. But when the Holy Spirit does it, you're in there. The thing is, is that you see these homeless people, they just, they're just they just never bathe. It's like, what are they, European royalty from, the, you know, a thousand years ago? We don't bathe. We just put on more makeup. <laughs> they don't more makeup. But the blood of Jesus can cleanse us. That means take away all sin. 
today I noticed I have a new hat, didn't I? My sponsor today, Tilly, Tilly Hats, get one. They're guaranteed for life, by the way, isn't that awesome? So, yeah, you can get your own Tilly hat. And it's, and it's uh, what is, I'll, I'll read it to all about it. It says here that it's insured against loss, guaranteed for life. It floats, it ties on, repels rain, blocks UV rays, won't shrink, and comes with four page owner's manual uh, made of a 10% cotton duct with brass, British brass fittings. How about that? And uh, let's see if it has a little booklet inside. And here it is. Here's the booklet. Yay! Okay, so now that we've got our commercial for Mr. Alex Tilly. It's really, really good. And if you want to get it, you can call up. Let's see, there must be a number here somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's, you can go to 1 800 Endurables or go to Tilly.com and you can get your own Tilly hat. So, the reason I have a new hat is because the other one, you notice how it was all like getting kind of weird? Well, I sent it back. I said, I love my hat. And guess what? Then they, they sent it back to me. So, I still have my hat and I got a new one. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so we're back to the scriptures here. Yes, we're doing a devotional, Bob. Let's get serious. All right, I'm getting serious. And it is serious, but at the same time, remember what the Bible says? Yeah, it says that. You're right, you're right. It says that too. But it also says, The joy of the Lord is sorry strength. 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 He gives me living waters and I thirst no more. He gives me epic love and I thirst no more. He gives me living waters and I thirst. No more. Wow, that was good. Alrighty. So the joy of the Lord. If we're deceiving ourselves, if we're walking in darkness, we're not going to have joy, we're not going to have peace, we're going to be upset, we're going to be angry. You know these people that beat everybody up, you know? And, and remember, we, we've given this out, break, break, breaks. Oh, help me, Lord, help me, Lord. All right, there we go. So. <laughs> I'm an experienced driver. She's a very serious driver. Seriously on the bumper of that Buick up there from Utah. All righty. He's a Laker, too. They have 279 Laker, L-K-R. Hello, Steve. Yes, I'm listening. So, here we are, moving ahead. Yes, yes, baby doll, I love you, love you. Well, Stevie says hi, too. Yes, baby doll, yes, Steve. Here, here's a little, here, here's a little doll. Isn't that nice? Here's a cat. Here's a, here's a rattlesnake. Oh, no rattlesnakes, no. <coughs> I can't leave all this traffic. There must be something happened to the Rose Bowl, perhaps. All right, so we're continuing on the scripture. It says, if we, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, the truth is not in us. But guess what? If we, we walk with the Lord, we're going to we're going to be just fine. We're going to be awesome. Well, today's word with Rio. I talked about history. I wanted to really focus in on one thing. This is the, really the moral of the story today, and that is that we have a history. Gene and I are making history right now. Uh, Ethan and Stevie, they're making history. My son Mike and Grace, they have a history. And what sort of history are you making? Are you walking in the light? Are you cleansed by the blood? Are you able to even know God? If you don't know God, let's just go ahead and take a minute and just pray. Father, we just invite you in and we, we ask, Father God, that you would draw near to us as we draw near to you and we receive you in Jesus' name. So, now that you've accepted the Lord, yeah, yeah there is, isn't it nice? So now that you've received the Lord, now you can go to a Bible-believing church, start reading God's Word, and talk to other people about Jesus. Amen? Amen. All right, back to where our word. So our word today is Rio, and that has to do with history, with life, with what you're going to be doing with your, your life. <coughs> the fact that you have accepted the Lord, that's a good start. Though most of us do know the Lord, and we communicate. Here are those cars, by the way, that are going by. Oh, we just lost one. Let's see if we can get the other one. Should be coming by in a second here. All right, well, <laughs> we tried to do that in the first take. Let me see if I can get that having to mess up our Devo too much. Here we go. It's right up the head. See the little classic car? And it's like a little roadster from years and years ago. And a nice couple here. You can see I washed the windows real well. And they were coming right by here. All right. We want to be like a little roadster. We want to be able to... Uh, there they go. And they're going into the carpool lane that we just went out of it. What a deal. We're going to be behind the Buick there. All right. Oh, we're back. We're back. Ha. 
I didn't cut off the video this time. Oh, look, they're back again. There they go. They're, these people are totally illegal. This is like illegal, illegal, illegal. If there's a double line, you don't go over the double line. That's no way to win. They give that point to Bruce our point. There are sinners out there. And these people are... <laughs> they're sinners. And you say that you're not a sinner. You're deceiving yourself. All righty. You know, I, I got a black license plate, by the way, to show that, you know, I was I was kind of with it and I knew it was happening, you know, Costa Del Green. And now everyone has black plates. It's going to be 1960 again. We all got black plates, a couple of yellows there, here and there. The old white plates are kind of... I saw an interesting thing. This guy had a the California license plate, had the white and the blue, but he had, he basically kind of like polished off all the white. So he just had, he just had the red California and then he had the blue letters and the rest of it was silver. It was like one of those Lamborghinis or that... Uh, what's that car from Back to the Future, Gene? I have no idea. You know what car was back to you? Nobody knows. How about you, Steve? What's the car in Back to the Future? She doesn't know. But you write me if you know what it is. And by the way, you can reach me at 213-713-8954, 8954green, att.net, at BobBob8954. I'm going to put the, the tweet up real soon. And, of course, you're watching Past Name Bob on YouTube. And for some reason, we uh, we absolutely have, have had a lot of... A lot of excitement happening with YouTube the last couple days, and that's great. That's great. It's awesome. So, with the couple moments that I have left here, she's going back. She's doing a Google search here, and she's the one telling me that ah, if you test the pond, you're not gonna die. Shut your face. <laughs> Shut my face. All right. So today, as we hand into this Sunday. Uh, Gene and I are going to go up to Carpinteria. It's our first trip up to Carpinteria together. We're going to have a nice dinner at the Palms. Another sponsor. Now, I talked to Ben up there. We're going to go to the beach. A it's going to be a DeLorean. There we go. Yes, yeah, called the DeLorean. There we go. Beautiful. See, so look at it. Isn't that great? Do I have an assistant here? You thought I was. All right, so today, our history. We're crossing right now over here. This is called Santa Anita, right in Arcadia. And my grandmother, I have, I have two sets of parents, you know. Isn't that amazing? Do you have two sets of parents? There's Stevie, she's saying hi. All right, Bob, Bob, Bob. So the thing is this, is that we have a history. My grandmother built a house up here on North Double Drive, also known as Santa Anita, back in 1936. And there she goes, she's got it. Yay, multitasking. And so we have a history. My family has a great history. I have a grandfather, my, my grandmother's husband, who was in a, in a city position here in the uh, city of Arcadia. And he, he, he was really a very responsible man. He wore an awesome uniform and he was, he was terrific. He was the chief of his department and that was, that was really, really nice. Alrighty, well let's wrap up. We want to pray about being responsible. We want to pray about being honest with God. We want to pray that we're in relationship with God. We want to be covered with the blood of Jesus. And I pray that today uh, Rio has, has done a good thing in how hosting these Olympics. Have they been perfect with the green pools and, and the crime and one of the guys was shot? I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the Israelis back in 72, but still, Rio has challenges. And it's, it's, it's a clear fact that in some parts right near where they have the venues, they've got these, uh, they call them bodegas, and it's like a little community. And But it's a crime community. It's a community of, 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 of drugs and of prostitution and of horrible things are happening right in the same place. So it doesn't disqualify Rio from going for it. And they went for it. They're the first major southern american you know area or country that is host to the olympics and we're just like us we have sin in our lives gene messes up i mess up stevie and ethan mess up everyone messes up that guy was going all over the lanes there like there was no higher patrol i don't know if there was a higher patrol i don't know how it'd get to them because it's so packed here in these these freeway areas i love you today I pray that God is going to bless you. I pray that you have a wonderful day. I pray that you will respect the Senor, uh, the, the God Almighty, and read God's Word. And I, I showed you a little bit of God's Word earlier, but, but continue to read God's Word every day. That's what we call it the daily devotional. Pastor Nevada devotional, daily devotional. So every day there's a new focus. Every day there's a new opportunity. And Jeannie and I have certainly locked heads at times. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because it's a brand new day. Brand new day. And we are marching forward in Christ, and we're marching forward with Christ, and we're marching forward for Christ. I mean, I can't wait today to get to church. We're, we're headed to church here. We're gonna, we're gonna be okay. <clears throat> we'll make it there for the final. And in the name of the Father and of the Son of the. No, <laughs> we'll make it there though. And then we're gonna go to Carpentry, have a good day. It's gonna be fun. 
and I'm going to be a service. I'm going to smile at people. I'm going to wave. I'm going to go ahead and, and bless people. And when I get to the restaurant, I'm going to leave the table nice and clean. I'm going to make sure I take care of Stevie and Ethan and Jeanette here. I'm going to do all I can to be a blessing. If you can do the same thing, you're going to be blessed as well. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back tomorrow. It'll be the 15th of August. Time to pay those bills. Let's go, go, go. Chop, chop. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Love you.